Ladies and gentlemen, just finished my walk with Alan in the safari center around the uh, Med Palace and the Cleopatra hotels. And I'm on the way home now, so I thought I'd take you with me. I'm gonna go along the coast. I'm gonna go down the Golden Mile and back up and then right down to Patadan shop again and finish up in San Agino where we were yesterday. So come on with me. Let's get the show on the road. I'm going to let you listen to a bit more music today and not gab so much. On the left here, we've got the German bar. I just don't know whether it's open these days. There are some nice litres of beer there. Here we are at the beginning of the Golden Mile, which isn't exactly a mile, but that's another story. The speed limit 20 kilometers an hour, it's about 15 miles an hour. And it does say that the pedestrians have right of way. Even if they're not on a crossing. Cleopatra, Hard Rock Cafe, and on the left, you got the famous fountains, Harry's Bar, etc. center of Vista Sur. We go back and look the other way now. shops open it's brightening up now he's taking a life in her hands
young and you like bubbly, best place to be. Great bands. Hard Rock Cafe, little bit overpriced for me. Piatonal, priority for pedestrians. He knows. Conquistador on the left there. I'm actually going to go down here and show you the beach. This car park back then by McDonald's here. That's that's very cool. Actually, Playa de las Americas. Same as the area, but this is the actual beach. Surfers paradise, as they say. And go straight ahead. Let's see if you can get a parking spot here. Vans on the right and the left here are surface. I think they actually live in these vans. Great life till you retire. And what do you do? Sleeping in the porter poppy. Porter potty. kilometers an hour along here. There's a lovely walkway. There is actually a beach walkway. But this is also nice to go around. The guy go, because I'm gonna go 
episode as well. So we're coming up to what's known as the patch here on the left. and show you. So they've done this uh, walkway now lately, last year. Widened the pavements on both sides and ruined the parking. There used to be decent parking here. But it's on now. So if you want to park, don't come here. And of course the turning circle at the, at the bottom is blocked. down the bottom they've ripped it down. Wow. Used to work there as a late night magicians. Midnight show. For adults only. Okay, we're gonna get in front of the trucks. A Gaelic corner. And of course the world famous Palms Chippy. And chips there on the left. You eat in the railway tavern or the bell. Uh, so you eat in either of those two as long as you're buying drinks. You can have your fish and chips there. This is the new Colon. Like a little village right behind there. On the right here going up towards Columbus. Parking space on the left. On the right coming up, Traveller's Rest and Leonardo's. is uh, well patronized, it looks like. Yes, it is. Looks like they're having fun. Leonardo's not so much this time of day. Let me know it's open, is it open? Steakhouse on the left. Mini golf. If you haven't seen Andrew's vlog, Andrew did a vlog about the mini golf the other day. You got a new virtual reality ride that you want to go on. If that's your thing, because that would have worked in the pandemic. I'm definitely not going to do it myself, but uh, he said it was fantastic. And the world famous. One, three, and two. That's clever, isn't it? Now we'll see how good the stabilization is on this uh, on this camera now, because this place—I'm not kidding you—it's like a roller coaster. Uh, 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 uh. Going up and down, up and down. 
So this barranco here is the actual border between Las Americas and Adeje. So now we're in Costa Adeje. Barranco de Troya, which is Playa de Troya, and the Hotel Troya. Everything Troya. This is the beginning of Costa Adeje. And if you see in the distance over there, the Hard Rock Hotel. Just behind there. There's a nice Greek restaurant down here on the right. Is it still there? Chili's? Is it still Greek? Maybe not. Of course, Monkey Beach Club. A lot of controversy on the Monkey Beach Club because they built up too high and the people behind said you'd ruin the views and they didn't have the right licenses at the time, but they're up. I think they're open now. I've seen them open. Just not yet. Pizza here with a dollar fifty pint. If you're left down here, that takes you on a nice little walkway. So if you carry straight on, you can go past Dan's shop. For those of you followers regularly. I'll notice that I finished my walk around here up in San Apino. And this is where we came up from the beach. That'll give you a bit of an orientation. translated that as lost property but it also means treasure trove. Coming up on the left is Grand Tinefe, H10 Grand Tinefe. Underneath it is the casino. Cozy Cafe, Mama Ibrox Bar, Cafe Las Cafia, and Kim. That's uh, Daniel's shop. Shoreside is still not open. Pueblo Canario. And now we're coming up past the Ibirostar Bougainville Playa. So we walked up here yesterday. Was it yesterday? Seems like ages ago. I'm going to get around the corner in San Ojino and show you a little bit of there. And then we're going to finish up. Checking his life in his hands. And he was only going here. What an idiot. Now we're going past Mario's, Irish bar, Irish Rover. Got to park over here. Take off 
slick camera. Okay, ladles and jelly spoons. What about the rum pot? The world famous rum pot. So, I am going to finish up here at Laguna Park and the rum pot and face it. And we're going to see you on the next one. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya, bud.